Now, the leadership and members of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, in Edo South Senatorial District on Friday called on the party supporters across the seven local government councils that make up the district to shun the Obasaki-led PDP faction, saying the latter has not fulfilled any promise made to the party's echelon during his re-election in 2020, despite their overwhelming support for him. BTV News Best Orator reports that the leadership said there is room for Governor Obaseki to meet with them before the commencement of campaigns. The report. It was an enlarged gathering of wards and local government executives of PDP from the seven local government areas of Edo South who converged the Benin City to a stray events that have played out before, during and after the re-election of Governor Godwin Obaseki in 2020. The Senator Chairman of the party, Barrister Nosao Geva Okumbo, puts the gathering into proper perspective. For us to meet, for us to discuss, for us to look into the future. It is very important that we must all say the same thing, have the same mind, and have the same judgment. That is the main reason this meeting was summer. Let me first and foremost again thank you all for the support, for the cooperation, for the hundred percent loyalty you've given to Legacy PDP. There came the introduction of the man of the moment, a former member representing Oedo Frederick constituency, right Honorable Dr. Moegi Ogbede Hama. <laughs> In the gathering, Dr. Moegi Ogbedehama reminded them what happened at the Samuel Gomida Stadium in June 2020 when different interest parties appealed to him to step down for Governor Basaki to save him from national embarrassment and he did not accept a cobo from Governor Basaki before stepping down. When I meet all those elders that beg me, I'll tell them, look at the governor and what he's doing. When you people were begging me, why don't you talk to him? They will tell me it does not listen to anybody. Yes, I know. But I listen to you people. Hello? Wow. You have heard reports from leaders from the seven local government and those sides. It is either it did not keep to agreement or all the positions that were available in government he took all of them when he came in 2020. When he was coming, he brought his deputy governor, Philip Shaibu. When we voted for him in one election, he appointed his secretary to government that came with him, Osarajo Oki. The next thing, he appointed Osarajo Oyoa, his uh, chief of staff. Hello? Legacy, did we escort them to politics? The part of building the house. And we have somebody to come inside the house to say you want to destroy it. Will you agree? It is not about me, it's about all of us that are in this PDP. You took all the commissioners, you took everything. When it is time for election, you will start sharing SSK. Come and take SSK. Give your wife, give your girlfriend, give your papa, give your mama, give your neighbor. One month after election, they will stop paying all of them. Our mumu, our mumu. Dr. Moegi Ogbedeyama said he was the party returning officer for the governor in the September 2020 election and slept at the INEC Collation Center. He said in 2024, Governor Baseki went to import a Lagos-based man to pick the party's ticket. 
He called on all the legacy group members to take their own destiny in their hands, urging them to man their polling units and deliver for the candidates that they will soon be directed to support. On August 8th election day, September of 2020, I was his returning officer. The ticket I gave to him free of charge. I followed it to protect that mandate at INEC Edo State. I was on national television. The whole world watching me. When they wanted to play while in Orion and of their southwest. The videos are available. We will begin to play them. Let everybody in Edo see the extent to which I went for Governor Godwin Mabasek. I slept in collection center because they say we will continue tomorrow. Tomorrow, story we enter the result. We slept there and said they must finish the collection. When they gave me his result, I took it to his parlor at home. I went to present it to him. Have I done anything wrong? Have I done anything wrong? One after the other, the leaders of the various local government areas took turns to speak on behalf of their respective local government. Honorable Best Imade, the PDP APS leader in Ikobaoha local government said they totally reject the planned list to replace all elected local government and ward executives. He said legacy members of the PDP have allegedly been marginalized. On his part, Mr. Martin Susakwe, who spoke on behalf of Oedo local government said they were the ones who joined others to appeal to Honorable Bede Hammer in 2020 to step down for Mr. Gordon Obasaki since the governor is also from the same local government as Obede Hammer. And now, Obede Hammer has been allegedly paid with ingratitude and therefore said anywhere Obede Hammer stands is where they will all stand. Barista Nosa Adams of Ego said the grouse of legacy PDP is that after the party opened its doors for the governor and his deputy in 2020, they are now seen as outcast. Spokesperson for Ovia Southwest, Honorable Monday Hammer said, Agreement is agreement, but those who made promises and agreed on terms and conditions with Right Honorable Dr. Moegi Ogbede Hammer reneged on the agreement reached. Speaking for Ovia Northeast, the state woman leader of PDP, Dickness Mrs. Lindsay Egete Sorai, said the gathering was to prove that members of legacy group of PDP are still very much intact. Spokespersons for Orion affirmed that all leaders and members of legacy stand together in unison with Dr. Moegi Ogbedehama, alleging that the legacy group in PDP have been marginalized by the present administration. God, Obaseki did not mean well for us. Because when he was coming in as a governor, we did everything possible for him to succeed. He came in with his deputy. After the victory, he brought in his SSG. Chief of Staff, Deputy Chief of Staff, all from APC. But what do we have to say? We agree we work together as a team. But 2024 again, he was preaching we should give him the governor so that he would give us the deputy. We said no, this, this party belongs to all. But after more negotiation, he got the governor ticket. Now for him to give us the deputy again, he went as far to appoint his SSG, who also came from APC. But how did he pay us back? Now they are pursuing our song. I have no way. We did it. We did it. We stand with our song. So today, when we met, what did we decide? We decided that we will pay our song. What we are saying is that we have not been treated fairly. The party is ready to go into campaigns. And we are saying that we need to sit down and discuss. And the governor must realize that it has not been fair to those they came to meet in PDP. The governor must realize or must be made to realize that we worked, we all labored for him. For him to shortchange us this much is uh, something we will not take. 
agreement is agreement. Since 2020, can you continue to deceive people? That is the governor. You, the winner cannot take all. You should consider for some people too that those people that work with you, like me now, I was the secretary for PDP for, for many years. I was not considered, I'm, that is some, I'm not trying to say a personal issue now. It's for every one of us. The complaint is that winner takes all, which is not the best. We are sending a message to tell those that are saying no more legacy, that they've depleted legacy, they've finished with legacy, that legacy is very much around. And you can see the zeal and the unity of the people. Take off on this meeting, I was very happy for this meeting. It's for all the legacy to be very strong and for all to be more united. And we are Ogbede Hama stand there as we stand. We are not going outside the rule of Ogbede Hama because it's our son, it's our leader, and they has been really, really helping us. So the legacy cannot be thrown off. For the PDP legacy to hear their view and state their state of being in the area of abandonment by the present day government of Edo State. So we are happy that this group today was caught together and we have given opportunity to air our view. The governor, uh, we have experiencing gratitude as a result of our assistance to his second tenure bid re -elect election in 2020. And we are taking a stand that going forward we will properly take our decisions not to experience the same again in the near future. On this part, Senator Roland Weir, a leader of the party, said anyone that does not stand with legacy PDP is an enemy of God and man because, according to him, there is no basis for anyone to continue to reward ingratitude. The envoy can commit. I tell you, PDP, we, PDP what we have done today is to tell the world that if you do a favor, there will be the reciprocation of saying thank you. If it's not there, they, 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 they run power of what your Christ says. Those in attendance, we are from the 77 wards of Avia Southwest local government area. <laughs> Days to the February 22nd governorship primaries of the People's Democratic Party in Edo State. The former member who represented Oedo Fergie constituency, Right Honorable Dr. Moegi Ogbede Hama, stepped aside and Dr. Aswa Ingodalo emerged as the candidate of the party. This is the first time that Ogbede Hama has called an enlarged meeting to address the supporter who pride themselves as legacy members. They have said that they, we are waiting for the governor to reach out to them before they will take the next step. What could that next step be? Only time will tell. From Benin, Best Orator, reporting for BTV News.